Welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. We got into Corley Motors. Now it's time to show everyone the pictures. I think I have the pictures of uh Yeah, I gotta show these pictures. Mo gave me the photo gruesome. Corley's desk. Very austere, no drawers. Or safe. Oh here we go. Uh, <clears throat> all right, there was a bunch of uh, codes, and I wrote them down. So let's try these bad boys one at a time, I guess. That's the only way we can do it. So we've got... Get a dash. Okay, so how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the six number code that we have here? Five. Five. There's only one six number code. Let's try this. Oh, five, four, four. Nine, two. Oh! There's uh, some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Boom, baby. All right. Now that's art. <laughs> This is where you put the card. Cool. Looks like the meeting started. Was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. Uh. Ah. Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Huh. Hmm. Lamp and motor. Hmm. It's locked. What the? What the hell is going on up there? <laughs> I'm on it. The motor speed got off is all. Hang on a minute. Uh. Yeah, uh, yes. Now then. I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. God. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Oh, security. Help! Security! Oh, jeez. Get out! What took you so long? He ran down the hallway. Move it. Mavis must be saying things. Alright, so I know where to put the reel now. I gotta put it in Mavis's room. A little bit Mavis. We just gotta get her out of that room for a while. What's in here? Security? It's locked. So we got into here. All right, so this is gonna get her to come in. What's this one do? No, this one makes you look bad. Should be nervous. Well, turn it off too. Probably not. It is clear. 
Ay, ay, ay. This is intolerable. I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor controls here. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. Yes. We gotta. Back to the presentation. These old cameras. Alright. I just gotta find the right combo. So let's turn this guy off. Let's turn this guy. Up. Yeah. I remember old movie reels. What you see before you right now is my vision for <laughs> oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, I... <laughs> Well, I'm out of ideas. Yep. She'll be there for a little while. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripburn. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that, Tate, from... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Uh oh. There he goes. I love the and run. then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That is great, Ben. I found you where you were meant to be all alone. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Oh, jeez. Rip Burger. Really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent 
stages of the cycle operation. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. Ripperger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben. Do you me? How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit. Hmm. Let's get the hell up to the cockpit. Doc! Jesus. Careful, Ben. Not even close, baby. So much for the controls. I could have used those. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, emergency. Uh, control loss. Brake system. Emergency brakes. Uh, both. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so we can't. Uh, emergency. Engine failure. No, that's not right. Military crisis, self-destruct. No. Uh, take off. Uh. Cargo. No. Shit. Uh. Post take off. Ah uh, ah. Uh, mid take off. Flaps. Line. Shit. Uh. We're heading towards the gorge. Uh. Landing. 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 Uh. Runway landing. Uh, uh, no, manual controls, shit. What do we do? Uh, landing, runway landing, approach, sure, no! All right, we gotta figure this out. Hmm, let me try that again. Okay. We're in. Go. All right. All right. Next time, we're gonna try to stop this bad boy. It's just luck. Tune in. <laughs>